we know a lot about the planets in our solar system, but the minor planet Ceres is still relatively unexplored and unknown. Lying in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, Ceres is one of the least famous bodies in our solar system. But the up-and-coming NASA mission Dawn has found evidence that Ceres could be one of the most interesting and incredible bodies in our solar system. But what has Dawn found on Ceres that makes it so intriguing? Now if you haven't heard of Ceres before, it's a minor planet between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. And it orbits within the asteroid belt, a large belt, ring or cloud of asteroids within our solar system. And it's the largest body within this asteroid belt. Now Ceres is only around a few percent the size and the mass of the moon, so it's relatively small. In fact, it's only the 30th largest body within our solar system. So it seems relatively uninteresting. But Ceres begins to get really interesting when you start looking what it's made of. Scientists have been studying Ceres for many years, and what they found is that the centre of Ceres is a large rock core, and surrounding that is a thick layer of ice. Now this layer of ice is around 100 kilometres thick, and it contains more water than is downhill on Earth. And it's this thick layer of water ice that gets scientists really interested, because the presence of water on the planet suggests that it might be habitable for life. Now this thick layer of ice is also covered in a very thin layer of dust, and this is what the planet Ceres is composed of. Now you might be wondering why I refer to Ceres as a minor planet rather than a planet. But just like Pluto, Ceres doesn't meet the rules that allow it to be a planet, and so it's classified as a minor planet. The reason is because Ceres goes around an asteroid belt, it isn't the dominant mass within its neighbourhood. What this means is, if you look at mass of Ceres compared to the mass of the asteroid belt, Ceres is relatively small compared to the total mass within this asteroid belt, i.e. it's not the dominant and boldest object within its local neighbourhood, i.e. the asteroid belt. And this is why Ceres is only a minor planet and not a planet. Now no minor planet like Ceres has ever been specifically targeted and visited by a space mission. However, several powerful telescopes have been looking at Ceres to try and learn more about it, such as the Hubble Space Telescope. Now these images taken by Hubble show a rather blurry disk feature which is the planet Ceres with a couple of bright spots on it. But clearly they're not good enough to do much science on or to learn much about Ceres from these images because the images just aren't good enough. And these are the best images we've had for several years. And this is because the distance from the Earth to Ceres is so large that we haven't been able to get any better images. That was until the NASA mission Dawn took some incredible photos of Ceres in January 2015 better images than the Hubble Space Telescope has ever been able to take. Now, Dawn has been going for eight years its mission to get to Ceres. Along the way, it also visited the minor planet Vesta, also in the asteroid belt. Now, the main mission of Dawn is to study the minor planet Ceres and Vesta within the asteroid belt, so it can understand more about how our solar system formed billions of years ago, and also how planets and solar systems in general form. And today, on March the 6th, Dawn will actually enter orbit around Ceres, and it will start researching and studying it over the next 12 months. And it will be studying the composition, the surface, the gravitational pull of Ceres, and it will also be imaging the entire surface of Ceres. However, Dawn has been having a sneak peek of Ceres as it's been travelling towards it by taking lots of photos. As you can see from these photos, the images taken by Dawn are so much better than those taken by Hubble so far. You can see so much more detail on the surface of Ceres. For instance, you can see all these craters, created by asteroids and meteoroids smashing into the surface of Ceres during its history. And as Dawn gets closer and closer and starts orbiting around Ceres, we're going to get even better, more high resolution, detailed photos. But the really interesting thing on these images are the two bright spots. They're less than 4 kilometers in size, but they look relatively large compared to the size of Ceres. Now scientists have been very puzzled since they first saw these spots to wonder what they are. They've been very excited to try and think of possibilities for what could cause these bright spots. But what possible explanations are there for what could cause these two bright spots on the images of Ceres? Well, there are several theories. Some scientists think that the bright spots are caused by light reflecting off of something on the surface of Ceres. Now we know that underneath the surface is a lot of water ice, so what may happen is that some of this water ice has been uncovered and the light from the sun is reflecting off of this ice and that's what makes it appear so bright. It could also be there's some other kind of mineral or material, such as some kind of crystalline structure or metal on the surface of Ceres and this is what's reflecting the light, making it appear as really bright spots. But some scientists think these bright spots could be giant geysers of water 
giant plumes of water being fired up from deep within the surface of Ceres up into its atmosphere. And this theory is backed up by the Herschel Space Observatory, which took some images of Ceres and showed giant plumes of water coming from its surface. Now, intriguingly, some of these plumes of water are also seen to be from the same crater as the bright spots that are on the Dawn image, making this probably the most likely candidate for what the bright spots are. But it could be something completely different. It's unlikely to be the street lights from some alien civilization on Ceres, but there are some really strange and unusual explanations for what could cause these bright spots. But until the Dawn gets even closer and starts taking more and more and longer images off the surface of Ceres, we're unlikely to find out what's causing these bright spots. So Ceres is already bringing up some mysteries which hopefully Dawn will be able to solve over the next year over its mission. it will also learn more about Ceres in general, this strange asteroid battered world, and help us understand more about how planets and solar systems formed billions of years ago. Now Dawn is going to be entering orbit around Ceres today on March 6th 2015, so check out the NASA website and all social media to get more news and information on it. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching my video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, leave any comments at the bottom of the video if you have any comments or feedback or any questions on Dawn or anything like this. You can check me out on Twitter at UCastronup, otherwise thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys all soon. Normally the internet goes crazy over boy bands and pictures of cats, but today it's been going crazy over something different, a picture of a dress. But don't worry, this isn't a fashion show, but it is the colour of the dress that people are really interested in. Half the world thinks the colour of a dress is blue and black, and half the world think the colour of the dress is white and gold. But how can a single dress look like two different colours to a whole population? 